Hi, and welcome to another episode of Cafe Chronicles. I'm Steve. I'm Dan. And today we're going to be having a look at something that's not the sea. Ooh. I don't know if I believe you, Steve. <laughs> I promise. I thought we were going to reupholster your couch. <laughs> Today, we're going to have a little look at the engine and the reason why is because we're waiting on some uh, thread and some needles and that for the leather seat. We tried um, last week, we tried to have a little look at, you know, how we would actually use the needles we have and it wouldn't work and it just turned into me and Dan drinking. So. <laughs> We kind of figured maybe this week we should, while we wait for the thread and the leather needles and things like that, we can get cracking on with something else. So maybe it's a nice break as well and we're not doing something with the seat again. So they, today we're going to have a look at cleaning up the engine. We're going to use degreaser, some brushes, and we're going to get it nice and clean because we're going to try and paint some of the engine. The engine's in good shape, running relatively well. If you remember from the first episode, we did some compression tests on there and we were getting some nice figures. Check that episode out if you haven't already, pop it up there. We got some nice compression results when we did our compression tests. So really all we want to do is freshen that engine up, get it looking nice and sexy, and we might even try our hand at painting the painted parts of the engine again. All of it. Are you going to paint it all? We're going to, we're going to get, uh, we're going to take the spark plugs out. We're going to shoot some <laughs> uh, spray paint right inside there. Yeah. Um, clean up the crankcase and, and paint that up as well. That sounds fair. It's just pure show bike. <laughs> so we'll, a lubricant, right? I think so. If you put enough in, it is. Once it doesn't dry, once you seal it quickly. Let's get stuck in. So we're using a little bit of engine enamel here, primer. And we're gonna hit it with a little bit of this. Now 
this is what we're using here. It is Duplicolor engine enamel with ceramic. So hopefully that's gonna do the trick. We've waited for this to dry, and now we're thinking about starting to dust it with our black. So now we're ready for our wet coat. So we've got an engine painted, looks pretty snazzy. I wasn't too sure how it would turn out, but already it's looking pretty awesome, I think. Yeah, well, I mean, it's glossy because it's wet. We'll, we'll hold our applause for when it dries. <laughs> yeah, watch this space. It changes the whole thing. You know, obviously it changes, it looks so clean. I think it'll be nice. It Already it starts to show, okay, the once we have the frame sandblasted and painted, it starts to show that you know, the engine, we put it back in, it's gonna look pristine. We'll have to be really careful getting it in and out. At least it's not as hard as a Honda. Oh man, that CB750 engine was a nightmare to get in and out. So yeah, we've been working on a few things today, um, but you know, hopefully you enjoyed. We got uh, the engine cleaned up, prepped, masked it up and actually got to prime it. Uh, like, like we were kind of trying to tell you during it, but we basically, for the primer, we dusted on a coat, left it 10 minutes, dusted on another coat, left it 10 minutes. Then we put on a kind of a medium wet coat and left that for probably kind of a half an hour, you know, 40 minutes before we started to dust on the black enamel coat. Again, just a dusting, left it 10 minutes again, as per the directions on the can. 10 minutes, again, another dusting, and then we left it another 10 minutes, and then we went sort of a medium wet uh, coat. It took one, you know, almost one full can of primer. It took basically one coat uh, or one can of the black paint, just if anybody's interested. As always, there's going to be a link in the description below to a sheet where we're tracking all of our parts. Uh, if you want to have a look through, see if there's anything that you've used before and you hate, or if there's anything that you want to recommend, um, please let us know because, I mean, we hate to pay for something twice. Yep. Or even once. Yep. As always, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe. Stay safe and we'll see you guys soon.